Uh, it's a topic which, uh, honestly, um, is very important and at the same time uh, I realized that this topic exists uh, when I was not young already. I was a spoiled child and I was doing whatever I wanted and I tried to reach uh, the things which I wanted and I was just fighting for, me, uh, for, for them. I wasn't fighting with, women, with men or anyone else. I was just fighting for what I wanted to be, what I wanted to get. And I'm really grateful to my family, my grandparents, my parents, that they allowed me to do what I wanted to do. Well, as for the risk taking, I'm not a courageous person and I don't like taking risks. It happened so that I ended up as a journalist because when uh, I was young, I even didn't dream, I, I may be a once, I mentioned that when we, we had a meeting before, that I never wanted to become a journalist because I used to grow up and was young in the Soviet era. And I never opened a newspaper because I hated to hear about five-year plans. I never watched the new uh, TV because I didn't want to see those tractors. I had different sources on, of information and I just neglected what I didn't want to see or hear. And when the Soviet Union collapsed, it happened so that I was I ended up in a turmoil in my, own, in my own country and foreign journalists arrived and they wanted some assistance and I simply assisted them initially as an interpreter, as a fixer, as a citizen of this country. And eventually I ended up, I changed my profession totally and I became a journalist in, within the turmoil. And several times, yes, I realized that it was very risky. My parents, my child, who was already a big boy, realized that it was very risky. And he asked me a question why I was doing it and I wasn't thinking about him. Uh, I thought a little bit and replied, well, if I don't do this, someone else will. And if someone else, something happens to someone else, does it change the situation? So why should I refrain, restrain myself from doing something useful, even if it's risky from some point of view, uh, and allow someone else to do that? And how to continue living with the feeling that someone else did something and stopped and uh, his or her life uh, was terminated. Uh, I had friends throughout my life who I lost, very close friends, uh, but I never said no to any assignment in my life just from the fear, you see, I'm not courageous, that ne uh, to leave with the burden of avoiding something and sending someone else instead of me. So I think it's a, some type of a type of education which starts in the family uh, that we need to fight for our goals. And my profession was fighting for my goal, which was democracy, which was uh, empowerment of those whose voices we didn't hear for a long time. Uh, that was for the benefit of people like me and like you. And that makes us strong and we forget about risks and things like that. And I have seen lots of women around me who are similar, who are uh, who thinks the same way. I'm sure that if not everyone, at least 99% and 9, uh, percent of you agree with me at the moment that we all uh, are responsible. As long as we are born, 
we are responsible to carry our burden and to try to change the world for the better. And it doesn't mean that we are thinking about only women. No, we are thinking about humanity, about our children, who are men and women, and whose life should be better than ours. And that's it. I have never fought with men. Maybe probably, maybe because of that, I was, I was a good boss for them. And uh, you understand that the majority in my teams were men, uh, and they never protested against me, me making decisions because they trusted in my common sense, in my calmness, uh, and care uh, for them. They knew that I wouldn't send anyone for a picture or a, for a story uh, which would be a waste of their life. No, they knew that my motto was no picture, no story, worth a life of any person, every person. And they knew that I cared and they, they were happy with me. And many of them, though I left journalists, are my closest friends. And even now, I left active journalists four years ago, or five, still call, ask for help, ask for advice. Majority of them are men. So if we want to do something, we should do it. If we want to be mothers and spend years with our children, we should do it. If we want to move forward to a different career, we should do it. There is no ceiling, there is no barrier which could not be overthrown or broken. That's what I teach now uh, as a dean. That's, what, that's um, what I try to bring into the regions of my country with different projects. Uh, we work a lot in the mountainous parts of Georgia. We also live, many Armenians and the Zeri cultures live uh, and exist. And we are trying to help the girls and the boys to break the ceilings, to fight for success, to fight for the benefits of their own country. Thank you.